click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Blemishes are an everyday part of life, and they'll show up in your photos from time to time. Now there's nothing wrong with them, but sometimes you might not want them in your photos. So in this video, I will show you how to remove blemishes. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer, because the tools that I'll be using will actually change the pixels on the layer I'm working on, and I like to have a backup copy of the original layer just in case. It's also nice to compare it to at the end to see what kind of progress I've made. So here we have this lovely picture of this woman. And the first tool I'm going to show you how to use is the Spot Healing Brush. So I'm going to zoom in closer to her face so that I can see more clearly what I'm doing. Now I'll select the Spot Healing Brush tool, which is J on your keyboard. and the way to use this tool is to find the blemish that you want to hide and make sure that your tool is just slightly larger than the blemish. So in this case, I think this looks pretty good. I also prefer to have a softer brush because I feel like it helps the edges blend in a lot better. So I'm actually going to choose a soft round brush in this drop down menu, and that will make the edges softer when I make these edits. So I'll go back up and use my right square bracket key until I get the brush size that I want, and I think that looks pretty good. So now I literally just click on the blemish. It may take a couple of times, and PSE does its best to match the skin around it and cover up the blemish. This may take some experimenting and some refinement, but now let's move on to a couple smaller ones. I'll use my left bracket key to make my brush smaller, and then I'm just going to go and click on a couple more spots until they start fading away like I want them to. You can go pretty far with the spot healing brush, and this may end up being the only tool you need, but I'll show you an alternative way to do this. You can use the clone stamp tool, which is S on your keyboard, and I like to have a soft brush for this. It's automatically set to a soft brush. So another way that you can do this, I'm just going to move to a different part of the face here is make sure that your brush size is just slightly bigger than the blemish that you want to cover. Hold the Alt key and click on a clear patch of skin that's about the same color as the area that you want to fix. So I'm holding the Alt key down and I click on this patch of skin right next to it and now I've defined the source that it will take it from. Now I can go over the blemish, click on that, and PSE has cloned this patch of skin to copy and paste essentially over here on top of the blemish. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. I held down my alt key and clicked to pick up this patch of skin here and now I'm going to put it over here and I'm just going to do this a couple more times until I cover up some of these blemishes. I can see a little something here in the tear duct, something you might not want in your pictures, so I'm going to hold Alt again, define this, and click it over there. And now you can see that that is gone pretty well. I like to use the spot healing brush most times because I feel like it's the most simple to use. You don't have to define a patch of skin because it takes the color information from the pixels around it and does its best to match automatically. But as you can see, sometimes it works better than others. So experimenting with these tools is definitely a good way to learn. Now I'll hide and show this layer so that you can see the before and after because I saved a copy of the background. And you can see that in a short amount of time, 
I've already made a few edits that I'm pretty happy with. I want to also add that you can use these tools for any kinds of images, not just portraits, and you can play around with taking small objects out of your images, or even wires and cables this way. You can also use this to hide some flyaway hairs, for instance. So these are great tools to use to refine your images, and I hope that you will practice using them on your own. That wraps up this video about removing blemishes. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.